Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Well, hello everybody, it's me and today I'm going to record two of the most important videos I've ever made. Just really interesting, really interesting videos uh, to explain what is going on in ancient times. And the thing is, in this video, there was a fest there's a festival done in India with millions of devotees and it is known as the Kumbh Mela. The Kumbh Mela festival. And you know what they do? They do what John the Baptist did. They go into the water and they wash away their sins and they get maybe eternal life as well. And this often happens at a confluence between two rivers. And what I want to say in this video is all the ancient sites, the good ancient sites in Europe, are at the confluence of rivers. Same as Egypt, at the confluence of rivers. So we can use what's going on in places like India and China, who still have the ancient pagan religions, to explain exactly what is going on in ancient sites in Europe, for example, or even America. And this is not a very good picture, but basically the idea was that um, there was a golden, something called the kump, which was a, a nectar of immortality, which I think is the same as Viking Aether, which is a, a mu ancient a mutagenic compound which created life, according to Viking mythology. And this, this uh, is, uh, in, in the Hindu mythology, this, there's this cauldron uh, containing uh, the kump, which, uh, k k or uh, the cup, I guess, the cup, the kump, the cup, uh, which can, uh, the cup of life. I guess their version of the Holy Grail. And it exists at the confluence of rivers. And uh, here we see the world mountain. It, it's very similar to um, uh, Tibetan mythology as well, it, this, because it's worldwide mythology. And two rivers, there's a world snake wrapping around the mountain. You've got the tree of life. You've got all the stuff. It's basically Stone Age pyramid, I would call pyramid mythology. And the, the, the basic idea is it, it happens every 12 years, according to astrology, where the moon is, where the sun is. They have to be at uh, often, it seems, 90 degree angles. But uh, according to a 7th century manuscript, they've just calculated it happened every, used to happen every five years back in the past. And they think this is an incredibly ancient, ancient uh, ceremony. Here on the Ashoka Pillar, it says that uh, uh, third, uh, third century BC, um, oh, actually, um, uh, one, is, one inscription is from 1500s. It says they're doing the Magmela, as they called it, which is the same thing. And what they, 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 the people do, they, they, uh, this is, a, is this a turner? It's a turner. Like, uh, the people just go into uh, and bathe because at the confluence of the rivers, they're getting the immortality, they're getting the resurrection, they're getting the rebirth. And does this remind you of something? Because it sure as hell reminded me of something, which was, of course, basically what's happening there in Egypt. So we have the Giza Plateau built at the confluence of rivers as a kind of resurrection device, a resurrecting device, a ritual center. So did people, let's say that John the Baptist carried on some Egyptian tradition, possibly. Did millions of people from all around Europe gather at the pyramids in order to bathe at the confluence of the rivers. Is this what Khufu and his uh, mates were trying to achieve when he closed down all the temples? There has to be a point to that. He closed down the temples because he wanted the people to worship there, at the Great Pyramid, quite, quite, uh, uh, quite basically. Worship the triple goddess, which would, be, which would have been a consort, by the way, to the three wise men, I suppose. So there's that happening, and, and, and I'm not going to show you aerial maps. It's happening in every place in Europe, basically. So here we have Avebury. So here we could call this the cup, the Holy Grail, the Kump, right? And here we have one river, River Kennet, right? And, uh, and it actually goes down there in between. It actually snakes, slithers in between Avebury and Silbury Hill. So we actually have a yin and yang symbol right here. Uh, which is quite interesting to say the least. Uh, there, Bickhampton, we've got a, a few, few funny hills and barrows. So the snakes actually uh, used to go out here like this in Stuckley's time, like that. And at each town, uh, there would have, each town was built from the rubble of the, 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 the circles here, uh, which would have been demolished, right? Remember William Stuckley's old map of the snakes. But you see, it's at the confluence of rivers. So people would, millions of people would have gathered here in Stone Age times and worshipped, I guess. A uh, place in Germany, it's called, a suburb called Ziburg, and where Hochen Ziburg is, I'm going to cover this in the next video, because it's the location of Valhalla, I believe. And 
uh, we're going to reveal that exactly where it is and, and all that and um, where Valhalla is and all this. But uh, basically this is where um, uh, it was even reused and uh, a statue of the Kaiser was, was placed here. It's called the Kaiser... Uh, there's an old castle here, as you can see, and uh, the, a statue of the Kaiser was placed right here on a horse. It's called the Kaiser Denkmal, and he's basically just sitting there on a horse. Uh, but the thing is, it's, it's a hill overlooking a river. It's an ancient site. It's a hill overlooking a river. Rural goes this way. It goes this way. It's a confluence of rivers. It's this uh, Hindu bathing ceremony. And they, the Hindus, they still, they still do it today. You see how they do it. They, they hop into the water, millions and millions of them. And this has been going on since time immemorial, especially because the Indians still build things that look like pyramids. So they have one of the oldest <laughs> possible religions uh, that you can get. And, 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 you know, this just goes on. It's, it's like John the Baptist. And it just goes on and on and on. So we can look, for example, at um, the Krakus Mound in Poland, it's it, what it is. It, it looks like it, 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 it's uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. It, it, it's the most peaceful, one of the most peaceful places I've ever visited. It's at one of the chakras of the earth, according to Indian scholars, the last century. And it, it, it's um, this is a this is like I, I, would, I would call it the Polish pyramid. And the view is uh, the view over. Uh, you see that from the from the mound. You see a view over Krakow like that. It's it's just absolutely serene and beautiful. It, it's got the ruins of a dark age. Fortress. Do you see the lions there in the ground? There's actually a Dark Age castle right here, which is about the size of Charlemagne's castle. And we don't know who ruled there because it's prehistory, pre 1000 AD, the Vikings trashed the place. And again, if we look at the map, uh, we see what's happening is it would have been at the confluence of two rivers, the Vistwa, and this would have been a river here, which is obviously which has been drained, but you can see the relic of another river which would have snaked right next to the Krakus Mound. And it goes on and on. Windsor Castle. Now, Windsor Castle. Do you see? So, if I zoom in a little bit, do you see? Do you see that? That's what Windsor Castle looks like. Now, according to this, Windsor Castle looks like that, right? Looks like that, right? Well, um, sort of. It's sort of got a moat around it. You see, but that, that's the special thing there. And if you look at it from the air, it's obviously a prehistoric monument. So that's what it looks like. And look, the, that huge round tower is built on something which looks exactly like Silbury Hill, a, a mini Silbury Hill. So, um, and it's just, it's just absolutely spectacular. That um, that. Uh, and there's a motor, motor. See, there it is, right there. And there's a, there's actually a. You actually look down into the moat, and so it's a moat or mott and bailey castle. So um, the, 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 mot, the mot is the mound, but it's almost the same word as moat, isn't it? Like what's, the English people couldn't tell the difference. Oh, is that the moat or is that the moat? Because they didn't speak French, right? Uh, but so they built this turret uh, there, that the oil, earliest part of it, on top of this, which is uh, fascinating. But uh, so let's look at the environs of Windsor Castle. Castle, and it's just the same kind of thing happening. So there's Windsor Castle right there, and it looks like there was another river here which has been partly drained out. Um, and so it's at, again, at the con and there's another one there. It's at the confluence of rivers, the River Thames, um, and this one is uh, the Jubilee River, right? So it, 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 this was a sacred area, possibly for ancient version of the the Kumbh Mela festival. And this would have been done worldwide. I think this is an ancient Aryan, probably ancient Aryan religion. Guys, what do you think about that? Uh, now, do you know what? I've written a couple books. One of them is probably the best ancient astronauts, one of the best ancient astronauts books ever written. It's called Confessions of the Gods. Check it out, Kindle or paperback on Amazon. And also a pyramids book. The pyramids book is basically, well, it's, it's 137 photos of sites you can visit in Europe, which are prototypes of pyramids. That's an amazing book. It's much deeper reading than the uh, other book, Confessions, but check them out on uh, Kindle and paperback. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, and also hit me up on Patreon. Cheers. Bye-bye.